thank you so much guys for that warm welcome and i have to say it's good to be back initially i planned on performing on this stage this stage right here where i first gave my audition for the cvs dance society and it's truly as uh, it's truly is a like i'm overwhelmed i just got back from my brother's engagement um i i just hurt my ankle a while back and then it came to the hard part that i had to deliver a speech and the hard part of delivering a speech is finding a topic to give a speech about honestly i couldn't come up with any topic i wanted to give a speech about so i'm just going to go full out of what i believe i am and how i am here where i am right now so a lot of you people know me from rodi's extreme i got my fame from rodi's extreme so a lot of people let's call them fans they come to me and they say we love you on the rodi's journey but a far more number of people come to me and they say after watching your instagram stories your workout regime we started doing our own workout which for me is a bigger and much more better thing than just being on rodi's not that i disrespected but yeah my main purpose on being on rodi's or any national platform was to do this thing which is calisthenics and promote it i don't know how much of you guys know about calisthenics but i'm going to talk more about it calisthenics is basically body weight exercises using your own body weight unfortunately i couldn't perform but you'll have an idea of what i do maybe in the next tedx cvs um so what i'm going to talk about right now is a thing which hit me that a lot of you guys must a lot of you guys must be in college right now and if there was one thing if i was in your shoes right now what would have been that speaker would have told me that one thing that would change my life after this 15 minute seminar i'm going to discuss on that and the topic for my speech and the topic for my speech today would be finding your passion now the thing about finding your passion the hardest thing about finding your passion is finding your passion it's like what's that one thing that's going to strike me right now which i'm going to be wanting to do for the remaining life so what we're going to do right now is we're going to follow this three simple step process and hopefully by the end of this 15 minute seminar you guys will have a skill you want to pursue as your passion so we're going to do this exercise i'm going to give you guys 10 seconds just think of a skill you think you're good at you need not be the best out there but you think you're good at and you have a natural inclination towards the skill and yeah please don't think of a hobby like i also like playing football but i wouldn't play it for 8 hours at a stretch so think of a skill you think you're good at and you would be comfortable pursuing it 8 hours per week per year take your 10 seconds and think of a skill you would want to pursue for longer hours take your 10 seconds i hope you're done thinking on the count of 3 i want you guys i know you're a bit low in energy but on the count of 3 just speak it out the skill you think you're good at just speak it out on the count of 3 and yes i believe in law of attraction whatever you say in the universe will get back to you so on the count of 3 just think just speak it out 1 2 3 everyone amazing congratulation you're done with the first process of finding your passion it may be your passion it may not be it's not that simple but congratulations you're almost there second second step think of that one professional person who's taking it to the next level and is already established in your particular skill think of a person who's professionally made it there think about him or her good step number 3 use your creative mind and imagine 5 years down the line you made it you are at the same level as that person is just think of all the just think of all the accomplishment all the fame all the money if you've chosen the skill you wanted to be and you're succeeding in that think about it now think does that make you happy does that make you happy that you're pursuing a skill which is unadulterated by all your friends your relatives your parents and does it make you happy if yes it makes you happy congratulations you found your passion congratulation give yourself a round hand of applause 
Now, initially, I started my speech with finding your passion is the hardest part. Turns out it was the easier part. All it takes is self introspection. And believe me, it's not that simple that in a uh, session of five minutes you'll find your passion. You're almost there. For the first time, no one has stopped you of imagining the thing you'll be happy in five years down the line. When you found your passion, obviously it's gonna take a lot of hard work and maybe it's not the passion. Passion is like a feeling, it might change in a year or so. But this age, 20 to 25, even after that, but this age is the age which you can take the maximum risk in your life. You can take maximum risk in your life. So suppose this passion which you've just thought about, you decide on quitting it by 22, it's okay. A lot of people I knew back in the college days right here were going for placement cell and thinking of, okay, I should do a internship in KPMG, in Deloitte, the big four. Nothing is bad with that. Like there are dream places to be, but did you want to do them? Or it's just that, okay, my friend is doing them, so I should do it as well. Suppose you wanted to be a hairstylist. Obviously, don't share that idea with your parents. They would not allow it. But suppose you wanted to be a hairstylist. Before you could do the second and third process of thinking of a person who's made it and thinking of how much you, it would make you happy, there were a lot of these people, let's call them doubters, or let's just call them experienced people who are not wanting bad for you, who are not wanting you to stop chasing your passion, but they've been through some conventional things of how things work. What would get you more fruitful future, a stable job. But you understand this thing, salary after a while, it would get you happiness. Money does buy you happiness. Don't think five years down the line, think 30 years down the line. You've got a job, good package, and you're working Monday to Saturday, doing something you got satisfied with and not what you actually wanted. So I pray you, first, don't avoid, but yes, do avoid these doubters. Let all the information come from one end and just, okay, I got you, I respect you, but I'm gonna take this one year, or maybe two, or for someone it would be more than two years, to just chase that one skill which you while sleeping at night, self introspected and yeah, I should try this. There's this term, there's this five letter word, it's called scope, it's called scope. Now a lot of people might think this word is an opportunity. In my perspective, it's a distraction. You were wanting to become a hairstylist, and then these people came in along the road and they said, there's not, there's not a lot of scope in this. Maybe you should try something like actuarial science or CFA. Not that these things are bad, but did you want to do this like ever? Like when you self-introspected, you were like, okay, I'll be your actuarial science person. If yes, then be an analyst. But when you self-introspect and these are the not first thing that comes to your mind, go for that hairstylist. And you could be have, you could have been the first person who would be that pinnacle of hairstylist in India. Give yourself a chance. Just give yourself a chance. And I'll tell you about my journey. I started doing calisthenics. Okay, this name is fancy. But I was doing this even when I didn't know about this. I was doing, I was pursuing my graduation. I was almost the top notch student. I used to score in the top three. But when I had the time, you have 24 hours, remove the sleeping and eating, you have 16 hours, eight hours of college, do it, study well. Education is important, guys. Education is important. I would never speak against it. But remaining time, do you wanna party? Do you wanna do bad stuff? Or you can just focus on the skill because believe me, although they say age is not a number, it might be a bit dicey that you want to follow your passion at the age of 30. It might be dicey, although there have been examples, exceptions are always there. But this time, when you're just about to graduate, make sure you give at least two years just following your skill and not just going for an internship if you're not willing to do that internship. So I also have an ice cream brand. I'm not going full out on calisthenics. I know that I need a financial backing and I love doing business. I've been an economics student, so I love doing business. I have a ice cream brand, ice cream brand by the name Koozies Ice Cream, and recently I was gonna hire graphic designers for it. So I collected a lot of applications, and when the resumes came, I did ask for their college, I did ask for their degrees, but you know when I was skimming through all the resumes, and this I think would be a thing for a lot of other uh, companies, I just 
came by the college and their degrees i just looked at one thing how long have you been how long have you been pursuing your skill sorry how long have you been pursuing your skill how long have you been graphic designing how many projects have you done it doesn't matter if you're a medical student or even you're an un even if you're an undergraduate i just wanted to see their work suppose you're a programmer or someone and you're doing some other course this particular person who i hired was doing medical and he left medical at this last year not left it he's just doing it for the sake of doing but he started designing just one year ago and my god he's an amazing designer just imagine by 365 days of doing something which he never thought in his 22 years age will get him a salary in the initial stages more than a medical person with all due respect to medical people but the thing is i'm not comparing happiness with money it's just that you want to do something and you're being given the chance to follow it that describes the most part of it a lot of people talk about finding passion but the next step is the most hardest you've decided upon that skill just give one to two years on it how do you do that tomorrow when you wake up do your education do everything just take out one hour you're in delhi you're lucky people because you're in delhi just search if you're a hair stylist just apply for internship instead of kpmg go to a look salon or jd or something do one hour of it believe me after two years you'll know if you want to go for kpmg that's also good but please i'm speaking it again and again it might turn monotonous after a while follow your passion it seems very something which keeps people keeps on telling you but for following your passion take the first step there is a major difference between planning and execution usually uh, usually we watch a lot of movies and we are like inspired like inspired we watch zindagi na milegi dobara raise of hands how many of you guys have seen zindagi na milegi dobara that was such a amazing thing which script writers wrote uh, which script writers wrote for katrina kaif sees the day You, you don't know if you are going to be cooking 40 years after all that after i'm done with the speech even if one of you guys start with your skill tomorrow like okay let's just if i'm a photographer let's just uh, let's just do a short course and a lot of people in delhi want to make money they'll have short courses for you just don't wait just don't wait for that one more person your friend who who said that he also will join i think you have some time before your exams seize this two months and do something for yourself do something for your passion don't think 5 years down the line if there would be scope in this just think 30 years down the line would i be happy that's a wrap thank you